Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we took on the Mind Ancestral Realm, slayed five Atronarchs, got their gems, then used them to play Simon Says, and we powered up a giant crystal, which, long story short, means we can now use a portal to go to the other realms. And I've just noticed Smitty's got some really cool skulls on the end of his hilt. I'm jealous of your sword again, you son of a bitch. But anyway, this crossword here, this is the way you're supposed to figure out the codes for the different realms. And as you can probably tell, there's a whole bunch of them. So, for example, one across Sailor Sail 7, Seas, S-E-A-S. So, we may as well go to C's first. Now, I'll be honest with you, I did do this crossword legit the first time. I can't remember most of them, I remember a few of them, but I have a list of them in front of me because I don't want to play crosswords again, so... Like I say, we gotta start with C's because we just figured that one out, but... Beyond that, I'll just pick from this list that I have because... Yeah, I'd, you don't want to see me play a crossword, and if you do, you're a little bit strange. And that didn't do a damn thing. I seem to remember this being like a weird issue with this, like... I don't know if it's just the first time you use the portal or, or what, but like, it just, now and then, it doesn't actually seem to register that you've put in the right code. It's very frankly freaking annoying. And does it work now? Yes, it does. Now, here's the problem. As you might I imagine, I... Seas is going to take us to an underwater level, because the words that you put in are relating to the type of realm you're going to go to. Now, they will enter here, but I know for a damn fact that they will never come out again, because it always happens with my followers here. So we're going to leave them there just for this realm, and we'll come back and grab them after we've done this one. Usually these areas are pretty damn small. And yes, as you can see over there, there's a shark, and we are gonna need water breathing. But uh, this one in particular, I think's tiny. I don't think it's even got a boss. So it should only take a few minutes. I think even the biggest realms are maybe 10 or 15 minutes, give or take, so... Yeah, I really like it. All of them are different. They have unique enemies and stuff like that. And as you might imagine, for example, from this guy, we get raw, uh, raw liver? Shark liver which is a unique ingredient that we're going to need to make some new spells. So there you go. That's the point of coming here, you get unique ingredients, but more... What the hell? Okay, random fish that I guess I killed. Moreover than that, in each of these realms, I think every si Are you passive? Hello? I guess he's passive, but I'm going to kill him anyway. I don't trust you. There we go. But yeah, anyway, in each of the realms, at least I think in every single one, maybe, maybe not, but at least most of them, you get a unique book which teaches you a bunch of spells that are not listed in the normal Midas Magic book that you saw. Now, like I say, you can make those at any point during the game. You don't need the book to actually be able to create the spell, but the book teaches you the ingredients that you need to make it, so the chances of you figuring that shit out otherwise is basically slim to none, because some of them get really damn complex, so... Yeah. Like I say, you'll get a book, and the book will relate to the type of world that you're in. So, for example, when we get the book here, it will teach us a bunch of water spells. And if we go to a fiery place, it will teach us a bunch of fire spells, etc, etc. So, yeah, it's really cool. I like it. Like I say, none of the worlds are huge, and I kind of like that. I, I've said it before, I like unique small things as opposed to ginormous sort of alien ruins or whatever, which are uh, kind of standard. So, that's why I like it. it Honestly, it's actually a very underrated quest mod. I mean, when people think of Midas Magic, they think of just the spells. Because obviously that's the main draw, but... The, the realms and everything here, you know, they're not, like, voice acted and stuff like that, but... They're actually pretty damn cool areas to explore. Like I say, some of them are tiny, like, really tiny. I think this is one of the smallest ones, but... Some of them, uh, you know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes at most. I don't know, I really like it. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing, because I have the Midas Magic Companions mod. As you might imagine, that means there's going to be unique companions in some of these realms. Now, I, hey, we got a key. I think we need that for the sunken ship, not the one we saw, but I think there's another one that we can go into, and I believe that's where we need the key, and I think the book might be in there. But yeah, anyway, so, because I have the Midas Magic Companions mod, which, by the way, is not actually made by the guy who made Midas Magic. It's kind of like in association with him or something. I don't really know. It's a separate mod entirely, but uh, obviously it requires Midas Magic. And in some of the realms, you can get unique followers. I remember specifically where one of them is. In fact, I think I remember where two or three of them are. That might be all of them, I'm not sure. I know there's not one in every single realm, but... There's at least three or four, so... Yeah, and they are unique. Like I say, they have unique armor, weapons, they use Midas magic spells and stuff like that, so... We are probably gonna replace Smitty, at least for now. We can always come back and grab him later, but I feel like three followers is gonna be just too damn much. And Smitty... Bless him! He just keeps passing out lately. To be fair, I think it's mostly me kicking the crap out of him, but... The poor guy just falls over all of the time, and he keeps punching everything, and frankly... It's just kind of annoying me. The maid I don't want to replace, she's like part of the team, you know? She's been with us from the start, but... Smitty... Maybe we'll switch him out interchangeably or something. We'll switch between some of the new characters and Smitty now and then. 
It really depends, I guess we'll see, but uh, yeah, for now, we're probably gonna switch out Smitty and check out one of the new followers. Okay, it took like five freaking minutes, but I think I explained just about everything that I wanted to explain. <laughs> so now we can actually play the game. And uh, that kind of rhymed. Right, so like I say, we're looking for a ship. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the ship we can enter. Like I say, I believe we need the key in there. Die, you mug crab bastard. I think we need the key in there, and like I say, that should take us to the book. And usually, as I mentioned, they're going to be guarded by a boss. I don't think this one is, but it's been a long time. I don't really remember. There might be some kind of, you know, epic shark in there or something, but I don't think there is. Like I say, I may be completely wrong. I don't think the mod's been updated since the last time I played it, but... Who freaking knows, quite frankly? I can't see a goddamn thing. Oh, okay. I was stuck in the corner. I thought there was something over there, but no, apparently not. Hey, there's a door. And hey, we can open the door. What's in here? Uh, apparently jack shit. There's a bed. And yes, by the way, you can sleep in beds underwater. Yeah. It's kind of silly, but you know, whatever. Okay, I see the trap door, and that's indeed where we need the key, and I don't see anything else around here, so screw it, we're going in. Hello? Giant almost shark that's gonna murder me horribly? Hey, there's a sack. And there's a bunch of crap in there. I was hoping for a potion, but fine, screw you, game. Okay, I don't see anything. Oh, there's a door. Okay. And a chest. Is this gonna have the book that we need? Yep, we get the Anquimensis Handbook. So like I say, pretty sure that's all there is to this world. We swim around a little bit, we get the key, we come with the pirate ship, we get the book. That's it, really. But like I say, some of the, this is like one of the most basic ones, which honestly I'm okay with because it's unique because it's an underwater level. I kind of like that, but at the same time, if it was too damn long, it would just get annoying because, you know, the whole water breathing thing and the fact that the followers don't actually follow me out of this world, so we can't use them and blah, 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 so yeah, I, I like this world and I'm glad that it's short, but like I say, it's easily one of the shortest ones. I remember one of them that's like literally just a square room, but I, I don't really want to spoil what that is or the reason for that, but yeah, that one's very strange. Very, very strange indeed. Anyway, we got to find the damn portal and then get the... <laughs> and the sharks are still floating up, that's awesome. Right, so the portal's over there, so I'm actually kind of right above it. So go on that. And it's weird, you have to power the portal up again to leave, like you have to click on it, don't really know why. Okay, you here? Yes, you are. You want something. Well, what is it? Wow, Smitty. Wow. That's just rude. You're already on thin ice, buddy. I'm already thinking about <laughs> replacing you. For now, you can come with me. Anyway, let's check out the Aquamancer's Handbook before I forget. There you are. Oh, it's got a description. I didn't know that. It causes harm to creatures of fire and immobilizes creatures of frost. Others may receive various status effects like fatigue, silence, and dispelling. Okay, so it's, you know, good against fire and basically for status effects and stuff. It's kind of cool. And yes, there's a spell literally just to make it rain, for no apparent reason whatsoever. And yes, that one, oh, by the way, look, Shark Liver, it actually does cause a tsunami. It's amazing. Like, holy shit, I love Midas Magic so damn much. I think it was Water Globe that I used to use, like, all the damn time. It literally just shoots, like, a giant ball of water at people. Plus, you know, Tsunami, because who could resist that shit? Anyway, let me look up the next one. And yeah, there's no particular order that we really need to do this in. I guess we'll go with this one next. The, the clue, I think, was Old and Rotten, and I believe the word is stale. And as you might imagine, this is gonna take us to an old and decrepit kind of poison-ish area. And, yeah, it's actually really cool, and I believe there's a boss here, so... Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite areas. I got the strange feeling it might be one of the biggest ones as well. Okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I hope I can... Before we go diving in here, I think one of the followers that we want is gonna be here. So we're gonna leave Smitty behind for now. We'll maybe come back and grab him later, but just so we don't have a three-man team. Or a four-man team, actually, I guess. And yes, that is the guy right there, and there's a pig. I've got a strange feeling the pig's like his companion, and he doesn't actually come with you, so... Yeah, it's kind of strange. And why are you covered in ash now? Did the larvae do that? And it's called stoner. Hello. Did the Go pig ahead, do it to please. you? You look kind of stony, I guess. Oh, freaking no. But yeah, this is Raven Nevermore. And yes, yes, he's a complete badass. He's got like cool looking Dark Knight armor on, a giant war hammer of death. And he has, yes, he's got 100 strength as well. The dude's really freaking dangerous. And like I say, he's not actually supposed to look like this. I don't know why he's gone all ashy and stuff, but it should wear off pretty quickly. And yes, his name is a reference to Edgar Allan Poe, the Raven poem. See, so yeah, like I say, I don't think the pig actually comes with you, which is very strange, but, you know, whatever. It's his pig buddy, and pig buddy doesn't want to do jack shit. And yes, these are some of the... Oh, God, these are some of the unique enemies in the area, and they... <laughs> Holy shit, he got tornado to hell. Where did he go? I don't see him anymore. <laughs> Damn! That was amazing. And we killed him. But, uh, yeah, these... Oh, they're the uber hulks. 
and they hit extremely hard. They can stun lock you very easily, and they are tanky as hell. They're kind of like souped up ogres, so... Yeah, you don't want to mess with those damn things, but they... Oh, look how cool he looks. Look how cool he looks. My god. I would marry you if I was gay. They go very weird very quickly. <laughs> but like I say, I just love the fact that the companions actually look unique here. I wish they had unique voices and stuff instead of like the generic Nord voices or whatever, yeah. but you know, you can't have everything. And, you know, this mod doesn't have any voice acting that I know of, so it kind of stands to reason, but, uh... Yeah, I love the dude's armor and his weapon. He's got, like, Thor's hammer. It's amazing. I don't think you can take them off of him, by the way. I'm pretty sure, like... Uh, Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure, like, they're stuck to him, so you can never actually see what he looks like under the armor, which is another thing I think is kind of cool, because there's the whole mystique. What does Raven Nevermore actually look like? Because you can kind of see he's got, like, this weird... So maybe he's an ogre or something? Uh, not an ogre, an orc or something, because he looks like he's got maybe, like, a bit of green going on under there. I don't really know, but... Yeah, I like to think that he's something else entirely, and he's just like a demon of death. And for whatever reason, he's coming with us, because... I guess we're, like, rescuing him and taking him away from Pig Bunny. Die, you bastards. So, yeah, I thought this was gonna be, like, poisonous water, but it looks like it's just regular water, but, you know, green and stuff. Let's use the auto attempt. Yeah. God, I love that so much. So damn much. I no longer have to spend 20 minutes picking one bloody lock to get 20 gold. You have no idea how happy that makes me. No idea. And why do I not see our followers anywhere? Is there anything with... Where the hell are we going? I think I'm going back in the wrong direction. Right, let's keep going this way just to see what's over here, and we should probably get some breath in. I know I still have the water breathing spell, but I'm too lazy to use it. It's really weird, it seems like half the larvae aren't attacking me. But they don't drop anything when you kill them, so I don't really see the purpose of their existence, but... You know, whatever, I guess it just adds to the scenery. I wish everything had its own unique drops, because it just seems a bit weird to me that some of the enemies just don't drop a damn thing, but, you know, whatever. And we appear to have found a giant opening. Is there anything around here? No, it seems to be... Hey, Raven's with us. It seems to be just a giant water-breathing hole. Well, all right then. But yeah, like I say, what we might do, I don't really ever want to get rid of the maid, because she's been with us from the start. You know, almost from the start. She's, she's a part of the team now, so... What we might do, we might sort of switch out Raven and Smitty and some of the other new followers that we haven't got yet just interchangeably. Like, have them on kind of a rotation just whenever the hell I feel like it. And we'll leave the maid as like a permanent part of the team. Something like that? I don't know, you guys will have to give me your feedback. Does anyone really care that much about Smitty? I don't want to be a dick, but... <laughs> He's called Smitty the Shitty for a reason, you know? He's not that great. I missed him, don't get me wrong, when we lost him at the portal, but we got him back now, so... Like I said, we can always switch him out and in, you know, now and then, but I just like the more unique companions, and good lord, what the hell was that? Right, get this okay, it kind of paralyzed me for a second there, and damn! Did you, he just like one shot that thing. You hit very hard, sir. Very hard. I like you. You're much better than Smitty. Right, so anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, we found a weed door. Like with a lot of leaves for some damn reason. Okay, so where does this take us? To Uber Hulk infested, apparently. Gee, I wonder if it's gonna be infested with Uber Hulks. Makes sense to me. You are not an Uber Hulk. This place is a liar. It's a complete damn liar. And also, why do these zombies look like Mr. Burns when he's high? They've got like the Mr. Burns eyes. Come here, Mr. Burns. Duh. Anyone else want a taste of Stone Storm? No. I didn't think so. What the hell was the maid doing? Oh, she was hitting the guy on the floor. He was still alive? Really? <laughs> I love the way Raven, like, I knock him flying out of the way, and then he just comes running back in and just goes, BOOM! And, like, uppercuts someone with his damn hammer. God, you're a badass. What do you find now? Oh, it's over there. You were swinging at that from a... Wow, you got some range on that hammer. Good God. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's loot the damn chest. And, again, we can just spam this. And it takes, like, one click. It's so damn good. God, I love this lockpick so much. Holy shit! Wait, what? Why did the maid just shoot that at me? Is she aggroed on me? No. That's weird. That's very weird. I guess she was like shooting at an enemy and it was dead and then it went past him and it nearly hit me. I don't freaking know, but you're dangerous. Don't do that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna snipe you, you uber hulk bastard. They seem to have like a bu- yeah! They seem to like have a buff that they cast on themselves, then they like either deflect damage or they just take a whole lot less of it. I don't really know. Where'd that tornado go? Oh, kids behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna get in the way, isn't it? Yes, it's totally- Oh, God, it threw me! Oh my God, I- d Oh, 
I did like the coolest drop attack of all time. Thanks, you actually saved me there. Kind of need to loot that guy though, because he's still alive? Really? Damn, that buff seems to be pretty damn strong. And yes, the mandibles weigh five pounds each, which is going to weigh us down very quickly. What are you fighting? I, I don't know. I guess like a larvae under the water or something? Yeah, they seem to have dealt with it. All right then. So let's get the hell out of here and oh, hello, buddy. So that one seemed to aggro me. It's very strange, like a couple of them didn't seem to, kind of like the sharks. Yeah, that one seen me and he's buffed himself. You dick. <laughs> oh, the way everyone just runs into it. Yeah, Raven hits very hard, like very, very hard. I hit pretty good as well, but like, damn. Yeah, give me that mandible. Yummy! Alright, what the hell are you looking at, Raven? I see, I almost called him Smitty then. I'm gonna have to get out of the habit of that. Poor old Smitty. Like I say, we're not gonna abandon Smitty entirely. We can still use him, I just... I kinda prefer this guy, what can I say? But yeah, let me know in like, the comments, like, do you like Smitty that much that you want to see him kept around, or do you not really care? Because if no one really cares, then we might just keep Raven. I don't really know, but... Yeah, like I say, there are at least two more other followers here that I know of. And I think I remember what realms they're in, because they're kind of, like, themed to the realm. I don't really want to spoil it, but, uh... Yeah, I kind of want to check out those as well, so we might just switch out Raven interchangeably with those two. There might be more than those two, I don't really remember. I just remember Raven and the other two, there might be more that I don't know about. We seem to have lost a maid around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Day. Follow me, for Christ's sakes. I feel like you already are, but she has, like, some weird interaction with water. Like, if she gets in the water and she can't actually walk back out again, she seems to get stuck down there. I've lost her a few times because of that, it's very annoying. Hey, we found a Midas Ark. I've got three gold nuggets again. Now, don't get me wrong, three gold nuggets. Why am I stuck? Why Why can't I move? I feel like Raven's blocking me in and I'm kind of drowning. I, I... I can't move at all. What the hell is going on? Hello? Okay, well, I'm going to have to TCL because this is ridiculous. Uh, you still can't move. What is going on? Oh, I'm over encumbered. Holy shit, I'm a moron. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me that three gold nuggets would do that. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, give me a moment here to get rid of this junk. Okay, that'll do, pig. That'll freaking do. Right, let's get the hell out of here, and hopefully the maid actually follows me this time. Because like I say, I do not know what is up with her in water, but it's very, very annoying. I right, just head by that vine, that was awesome. Right, so anyway, I saw somewhere we wanted to... What are you doing in the ground, Raven? I, I don't get it. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Which, which is gonna keep going and pretend that didn't happen. This is not what I'm looking for. I saw somewhere around here that had like... What is he doing? That had what, this place. I believe this is where we have to go to get to the boss and I still don't see Raven on the maid. Hopefully they'll follow us through a load screen because I do believe there's a door down here, yes. And they should take us to the breeding pools, yes. As you might imagine, that's gonna be where the boss is, at least I think so. Well, they're here but they're stuck in the wall again. You guys really need to sort that shit out. Hello? Okay, the... Why are they fly? That was weird. They were swimming for a second, but they're not now. So, whatever, I'll take it. You just set me on fire, maid. God damn, she's dangerous with that. <laughs> oh, man, that dude got ranked out so bad. Uh, that's Raven. Oh, sorry. I d <laughs> you look like an Uber Hulk. Oh, God, where'd it go? Why is it go... Why is the broom glowing pink now? The hell is going on? This is like the trippiest shit. I am so confused. What's doing that? Is it the maid? Because she's glowing now, but doesn't she normally? I... Like, the whole room's got... This is weird. Like, surely if it was her, I would have seen this happen before. What made the room glow? I... I don't understand. Whatever. Okay, the room's glowing. I don't see anything over there. That... That's weirded me out. I don't get that. We're just gonna leave. Yeah. Love a slaughter. Ouch, why am I on fire? Did the maid do that? I have no freaking idea. She's shooting shit again. Well, at least she paralyzed the guy. And now I'm gonna wail on him. Oh god, there's another one there. I thought that was Raven. I thought that was Raven. Oh god. Oh god, I'm paralyzed again. I'm dying. Okay. Don't panic. We have potions. We're gonna take the potions. Take the potion, take the potion, take the potion, take the potion. Okay. Now, that's a dead end. Oh god, I got paralyzed again. Stop doing that shit. Okay. Oh god, you hit very hard. Okay. we uh, oh, I'm on the floor again. Jesus Christ. Run. Just... So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Raven. In fact, I'm not sorry. You should have been protecting me. What the hell were you doing? I nearly died over there like three times. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, we got our magic back, so we got Stone Storm of Justice, everybody. Screw you guys. Get out of the way, Raven. No, Raven, get out of the damn way. 
You're big and bulky. Are they both dead? I... Where'd he go? Oh, holy shit! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I broke the physics! And I looted him, and he's got broken bindings on him. Okay. That's weird. Where's the other one? Oh, there you are. Well, I guess that guy's just gonna bounce around, but we got his booty, so that's all I really care about. Because the way to go down there, and there's a way to go over here, this one... Eh, I don't know if it looks any more important, but we're gonna go this way and hope for the best. It seems like it leads around. Yes, it does. Okay. Well, that was pointless. Whatever. Oh, by the way, just a heads up. Holy shit, this is a big room. This is a lovely room of death. By the way, just a heads up. In case I sound quieter than usual today, I don't really know, because, you know, I'm not the one listening. But just in case I do, it's because it's like 86 degrees here. And my room is like a freaking oven. And I can't open the windows because of background noise. Oh, good God. It's so hot. You have no idea. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, let's get rid of this damn guy. Is he dead? I thought I saw... No, he's not dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. I ragdolled the hell out of everybody just then. That was amazing. Oh, God, he's alive. He's very much alive. Guys, I kind of need you to kill him. I think he's... No, he's still... Jeez, man. That buff is insane. Like, Raven basically one-shot one of those dudes. Oh, God. I'm um, guessing that's the boss, because it looks different and it looks ginormous. Yeah. I think that's going to be like, oh god, it's shooting stuff at me to paralyze me. I just dodged that in time. I think that's going to be like the queen or something. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, it's the queen. Because it's the breeding pool, so I guess this is where she, you know, breeds. Which is really gross when you think about it. It also kind of brings up the question, what is this green goo that we're wading around in? Is this the result of them breeding? Because if so, that's bloody disgusting. That I wish I'd not even said that now. That's, that's horrible. That's absolutely... Oh god, don't hit me. I... The regular uber hulks destroy me. The queen will pro- Jesus Christ! <laughs> Damn, that was an amazing one-two combo there. And that's why I quick saved it over in the corner, because I kind of expected that to happen. Okay, this time, winch. No freaking mercy. Gonna juggle the hell out of you. Yeah. <laughs> so go on, that. And I'm gonna- Oh, God, no, 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 no. That's a very bad uber hulk queen. I think, I was gonna say, yeah, I think Raven's underneath her, good god. Okay, just, just tornado that shit. As long as she dies, that's all I care about. Ah. I seem to remember this being a bug that I run into, like, every damn time here. When you knock her into the deep water, she can't, like, do a damn thing. So she just sort of stands there and takes it, but... I mean, I guess she's nearly dead anyway, but yeah, I don't think she's gonna hit us now. Well, especially not now that she's dead. But, you know, we got most of the fight, plus she did actually take me out. We got royal jelly, apparently. I am ready for that jelly. I remember seeing that we needed that, so I'm assuming there's going to be more than one, so there's probably going to be some other king or queen-like, you know, royalty-type bosses in some of the other areas. But yeah, I think that's it in this one. We still have to get the book, though. Like I say, I think there's a book in every single uh, realm. There might not be, though, but there's definitely one in most of them, and I know for a fact there's one here, because, as you might imagine, it teaches you a bunch of, like, decay and poison-type spells, which is really freaking cool. And we got a chest. What's in the box? <laughs> Onions and venison. Well, all right then. That's not random at all. Okay, it's, I'm just making sure I'm not missing it around here, but I don't think I am. I'm going to assume it's going to be Ed's right here. Well, all right then. The Tomb of Underdark. Behold! Okay, so what does this say? Ah, geomancy and the magic of the deep earth. Smoke and stone are its tools and the ground itself. The servant of the geomancer. Okay, so there's like crushing stones, I think that literally kind of causes an avalanche of stones that fall down on your opponent as opposed to the uh, stone storm that spins around you, and we already have the slime hearts, which is extremely handy. Eruption, pebble blast, smoke, so uh, yeah, like smoke and stone. I thought it was more poison related. I think there is a poison realm, but I guess this isn't the one. I mean, we haven't been poisoned here, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, stone storms in here. That's interesting. See, I think the way it works is it does also show you some of the spells that are in the Midas Magic book, which is a little bit strange. But, you know, whatever. What would be really cool, I don't think you can do this, but what would be really cool if somehow, when you got every single one of these books, you could, like, somehow combine them into one ginormous book, and then you could just have, you know, the complete book, if you will. Or maybe, like, you could add them to the regular Midas Magic spells book? That would be really cool, but as it is, you kind of have to have them all with you when you want to make spells, and flick through them appropriately, knowing what you want to make, and it's a very complicated process, so it'd be nice if you could, you know, collaborate them all into one book, but I don't think there's any way to do that. Maybe there is, but I really doubt it, so, you know, whatever. 
Anyway, I am gonna win to here next time. What you got? Oh god, what the hell's going on? Okay, random avalanche. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna head back to the portal, and then next time we'll check out some more of the realms. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.